Hey beautiful souls, welcome to Twin Flame Reading Channel. The cards reveal a tough situation in your relationship. Your partner's attention is caught by someone else, and it's not just because they find them attractive. This other person connects deeply with your partner's interests and values, touching something inside them. The lover's card suggests a strong bond, but not necessarily a romantic one. The third party represents a shared passion or hobby that your partner feels more connected to than they do to your relationship. It's like a puzzle of feelings, your partner isn't just casually interested in this person, there's a deeper connection. They share similar likes and beliefs, almost like they speak the same language of the heart. This connection is special, like two pieces of a puzzle fitting perfectly together. In the world of the lover's card, where relationships are explored, this connection stands out. It's not just about love, it's about understanding and harmony. This third person represents something significant to your partner, something they deeply connect with. This situation shows that relationships aren't always simple. Sometimes, feelings get complicated, and lines blur, it's hard to see where one thing ends and another begins. But even in tough times, there's hope, challenges can lead to growth and understanding. Maybe this situation can bring you and your partner closer together, helping you both rediscover what makes your relationship special. The Eight of Swords card shows a feeling of being stuck or trapped in your relationship. It's like there are barriers holding you back, and you might feel left behind as your partner's focus shifts elsewhere. When the High Priestess card appears, it's a sign to look deeper within yourself and understand what your partner really needs and desires. Sometimes, there are hidden feelings or wishes that need to be uncovered and addressed. The Knight of Wands brings a sense of restlessness, a desire for adventure and excitement. Your partner might feel suffocated by the routine of your relationship and crave something more spontaneous and thrilling. It's important to talk openly with your partner about how you're feeling and try to understand each other better. By sharing your thoughts and emotions, you can work together to break free from any feelings of being trapped and inject new life into your relationship. To overcome this challenging situation, it's important to concentrate on reigniting the spark and discovering new shared interests. The Empress card encourages nurturing your own passions and creativity, which can make you a more captivating and satisfying partner. Relationships, like gardens, need care and attention to flourish, they evolve over time, and both partners need to put in effort to help them grow. Reigniting the spark means finding ways to bring back the excitement and passion that initially drew you together. This could involve planning special dates or activities that you both enjoy, or simply spending quality time together reconnecting. By making an effort to prioritize your relationship and show your partner how much they mean to you, you can help reignite that flame of love. The Empress reminds you to focus on nurturing yourself as well, 
When you take care of your own passions and interests, you become a more interesting and engaging partner. This could involve pursuing hobbies or creative projects that bring you joy, or simply taking time for self-care and relaxation. When you're happy and fulfilled as an individual, it's easier to bring positive energy into your relationship. Relationships are like plants that need water and sunlight to grow. They require attention and effort from both partners to thrive. This means being willing to communicate openly and honestly with each other and being receptive to feedback and constructive criticism. By working together as a team, you can overcome challenges and strengthen your bond. Remember, growth requires effort and commitment from both parties. Take this opportunity to deepen your connection with your partner and discover new aspects of each other. By embracing change and being open to new experiences, you can create a relationship that is strong, vibrant, and fulfilling for both of you. It looks like your finances are about to change, you might feel pushed to leave a job or career that's making you unhappy. Learning to say no to things that don't bring you joy is important now. If something from your past comes up, like an old offer, it's best to turn it down, otherwise, you might keep facing money problems and debt. You're being encouraged to revisit an old project or passion you started but didn't finish. It's time to either complete it or give it more attention, this could bring back a sense of purpose and happiness in your life. Try tapping into your inner child's curiosity and creativity. This playful approach might spark new ideas and opportunities for making money. You've been working on manifesting a new phase of financial abundance. Keep an eye out for positive changes starting to happen, especially in the spring and summer. This could mark the beginning of a better time for your finances. It seems like you've been training for something important, maybe a new career path. But you might not realize yet that this could be your true calling, bringing you both money and happiness, it's bigger than just what you want for yourself. Many of you are feeling pushed to take on leadership roles, like being a mentor or getting a higher position at work. Some might even start their own businesses from home. The universe is nudging you to step up and make a difference. For others, your financial success might come through a partnership. Maybe you'll start a business together or have a child with someone this partnership could bring both money and joy into your life. This journey is about more than just making money, it's about finding fulfillment and making a positive impact. Trust in yourself and the guidance you receive, 
Embrace the opportunities that come your way and believe in your ability to succeed.